button in there. You know, um, yeah, there we go, yeah. A lot of money to get copper in your blade with William Henry. Okay, this is the K-Bar Potbelly. And it's, I believe it's a quarter inch thick. Uh, it's all, it's a blade that Austin got probably, I'd say, close to 11 years ago, if not longer. And um, he did some testing with it. Basically, he just stuck it in a stump and he did boom, like that. Uh -oh. And it was very easy to break that tip. And uh, so although it's a thick spine, I want you to come in and look at that hollow grind. The hollow grind is actually pretty thin. So, see that? Yep, it's shaving. It's cutting paper. Yes. So, safety glasses, and we'll see how it goes. And uh, you can actually see some copper on the blade, some of the paint peeling off. The edge is chewed up. It's chewed up. Yeah, I would say it's a mix of dents and chips. Let's see if I can get that reflection in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Especially right there. So, I mean, it's metal. It's metal on metal. And so it's not really surprising that things like that happen. Pretty cool that copper's on the blade. Yeah, I like uh, the look of it. Let's see. And I mean, that's obviously where I hit the most. So let's try to shave right there. By the way, you spend a lot of money to get copper in your blade with William Henry. Okay. Shaving. It's absolutely still shaving here. Uh, very much like the 4034 Kukri, although there is damage. It's still very functional. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit generous, uh, generous. I'm gonna start out the cut here and then get it to go across that edge. Okay. So as long as we start out the cut down here and we go across the jagged edge, it's still cutting pretty good. But when you get on the jagged portion, Except for that spot. <laughs> it's having a little bit of problems going through. But that's not bad. Uh, the hollow grind is something that I think is going to give you a little bit of problems compared to uh, the design of the Cold Steel Kukri because you just don't have as much stability. And so uh, I would have to say that wasn't bad. But like 10 or 11 years ago, how easy did that break off? It just. Yeah, it was super, super easy. And people so. got mad at me uh, for doing that test, so I did a bunch of other tests, and like the uh, cold steel spike, the old steel, old school cold steel spike, did just fine. And what's the old school cold steel spike made out of? Ah, oh, man, it's... Sub-0.420. Yeah. Which is kind of like 4034. We'll call that a video. Thank you for watching.